You like this? Oops. You like this? How you? you get like that? <laughs> How you get so strong, Jesse? <laughs> oh my god. Hello again. Welcome to Ask Jesse. Today's questions came in from Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag Ask Jesse. Again, as always, thank you for submitting your questions. They're all awesome and I will get to every single one of them one day. Um, but for now, let's just start with this amazing question. And I think we have some that you picked out. Yeah. Yes. All right. So first question is from BZ Fitness from Instagram. And she wants to know, how did you get so strong? I feel stuck at some of the same weights. That's an awesome question. The first things that come to mind for BZ Fitness is that it takes time. And second to it taking time would be, you need to have a very strategic plan of attack in place for it. Strength, building muscle, improving a physique, improving your cardiovascular capabilities, all of that kind of stuff. You need a plan of attack. You need to practice what I like to call progressive overload. That's just practicing progression, making sure that over a given period of time that you are progressing with a strategic plan in mind. So let's say you go to the gym and you deadlift and you are it's your first day of deadlifting and you are going to attempt to pull 150 pounds. And let's say you do it, you keep really good notes about it. And what I mean by really good notes is I mean you want to make sure that you write down how you felt if you uh, maintained your brace and engaging your lats, if your form was perfect, um, if you moved quickly through it, if you felt great while you were doing it, how many sets and reps that you did um, of that deadlift at that weight. Those are the kind of things that you wanna keep in mind for note taking and journaling through your workouts. Okay, so you did a 150 pound deadlift, you feel awesome. Progressing over time would be the next week, since your notes were so outstanding on your 150 pound deadlift, you would attempt to add 20 pounds to that deadlift. And that's just not a random number. Um, I do have a strategy of how much to progress, how much weight to add. It's not random. It's very well thought out. What I like to do are exercises where you are lifting more than 50 pounds. So a 150 pound deadlift is clearly more than a 50 pound exercise. You would increase that by 15%. So I don't have the math in front of me or in my head, but probably 15% of 150 pound deadlift is roughly 20 pounds. Hopefully I'm right. If not, we can edit this part out so I don't look like a dumb math person. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's right. Somebody do the math. 22? Uh, okay, so 22.5 is exactly 20%. So go for it if you can add up weights to equal 22 and a half pounds, um, which you could but uh, because there's two and a half pound plates and things like that, but I'm just gonna use 20 pounds to keep it easy. So uh, the next time you deadlift, if 150 pounds is absolutely nailed for you, meaning you felt great, you moved quickly, um, you felt awesome, I already said that, but you did all of your sets and your reps, you were strong, you stayed braced, form was perfect, then you can graduate to that extra 20 pounds, which would put you at 170 pound deadlift for the next time you're deadlifting, hopefully it's the next week because consistency is key. You wanna stay consistent and you're gonna attempt 170 pounds. 150 pounds was absolute perfection for you, so 170 pounds is what your next goal is the next week. So go ahead and try. Maybe it's gonna be perfection again, but probably not. You're gonna probably have some struggles. That's a big weight increase. So you wanna make sure that you write down all the same kind of notes, how you felt, where you fell apart, if you did fall apart. Uh, maybe you pulled and failed and put it back down and had a couple of minutes of rest and breathing and water and tried again and it worked. Maybe it never worked and you went back down to 160 pounds or maybe back down to the beginning, 150 pounds. Keep notes of all of that kind of stuff so that you have this awesome journal. Clearly, I am focusing here on you journaling and making sure you're taking crazy notes about how you're feeling and what happened during all these lifts. Um, if it's a crappy lift, strength, uh, you're not gonna get very many strength gains if uh, you are underslept, overstressed, underfueled. You have to keep all of those things in mind too. 
Make sure you're fueled for your workouts. Make sure you've gotten enough rest. Make sure you're not super stressed out at home or at work or whatever. You can still go lift under those circumstances, but keep in mind that those may prevent you from having that perfect picture of progression. So let's say we did have a perfect picture, which nobody's gonna have. What would that put you at over 230 pound deadlift in five weeks? That's not gonna happen. You're not gonna increase your deadlift from 150 pounds to 230 pounds in five weeks. I increased my own personal conventional deadlift from 100 and I think I started at 160 pounds and it took me 10 months to get to over, over 230 pounds. So keep that in mind. You're gonna have weaker days. You're gonna have weeks where you're on vacation. Simple things like that might happen. You're gonna have weeks where you completely stall at 190 pound deadlift and no matter what you do, you're not gaining any strength in that lift and you're not increasing weight. It's totally fine. Again, 10 months it took me to increase from 160 or 70 pound deadlift to over 230 pounds. I mean, that's a long time. That's not a, I added 20 pounds every week and got progressively stronger and I'm gonna be deadlifting 500 pounds in no time at all. It doesn't work like that. Keep in mind that different muscle groups will grow quickly. Uh, more qu quickly than others. You might progress really fast with your bench press weight, but really slowly with your squats. Keep in mind that some muscle groups aren't going to be as strong over time. You could be stuck at using 25 pound dumbbells for your shoulder press for two years. I mean, if you practice this perfect progression week by week, it's unrealistic to think that you're gonna be pressing 100 pound dumbbells over your head with shoulder press in a year. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I've been pressing between 25 and 35 or 40 pound dumbbells for six years with shoulder press. So keep that in mind. Um, keep all of the different ways of progression in mind also. There is progression with rest periods. If you lift the exact same amount of sets and reps, and you lift the exact same exercise with the exact same weights, but you rested shorter in between each set, that's progression. You rested shorter than you did the last time you did that workout. If you did one more rep, but the sets and the weight and the exercise were all the same and the rest period was the same, but you did one more rep than you did last week, that is progression. So keep all those things in mind. Um, I mentioned how much to increase by if your exercise is um, using more than 50 pounds. If it's using less than 50 pounds, like a 25 pound shoulder press, for example, a good rule of thumb is to increase each time you're ready to press by 25%. Um, so those are the two different things. Also keep in mind that consistency is key. You can't expect to progress quickly if you're deadlifting or squatting once a month. It's not gonna happen. You want to make sure you're hitting those muscle groups every single week. Stay consistent in the gym. Stay consistent with how you feel your body. Um, stay consistent. Keep detailed notes. And last but not least, eat. I cannot stress how important it is to fuel these workouts when your goal, like yours, is BZ Fitness um, to gain strength. Okay, so you can certainly change the way you look, you can lose fat, you can do those kind of things if you are not eating, 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 and fueling, fueling, fueling. But you cannot gain strength if you are not eating enough every single day, pre and post workout, especially pre-workout, and if it's not enough fuel for the level of intensity that your workouts are. Great question though. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask Jesse. Make sure you comment below with any more information that you need or more additional questions about this topic. I will make sure to respond to all of your comments. Um, also, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also share this video with anybody you think could benefit from hearing this awesome information. Other than that, go to jessiefitness.com and check out the Jessie's Girls training programs and keep bringing in your questions. Thanks for watching us, Jesse. See you next time. Did I say that right? 230 pounds in five weeks, 20 pounds a week. I'm just killing it in my math game today. <laughs>